Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with another apartment renovation and I am renovating one of the Pinecrest apartments in Evergreen Harbor. This is actually going to be a one bedroom, one office, one bathroom apartment. So it could be a two bedroom if you'd like it to be. But the idea behind this apartment was to create something for somebody who loves plants. I think I'm going to title this plant mom apartment because that's a pretty common term for sims or people who really like plants and have a lot of them that they are taking care of. And this is actually inspired by the fact that the Blooming Rooms kit right now is free to download. Uh, so make sure you grab that. If you have not already, you can just go on the EA app and purchase it for $0. Uh, so I would highly recommend you do that if you have not already. It's one of my favorite kits. So it's heavily being used in this build. It's not the only pack I'm using. I'm using quite a few because I really wanted to get the point of a plant mom across. But I wanted to do this because of the Blooming Rooms kit. So make sure you check that out and grab that kit if you have not already as it is free for a limited time and I don't want you to miss out. So right now I'm just realizing I actually want to move the kitchen into this room over here. I was originally thinking that this would be an office space or just like another bedroom or something in the front of the house and then I'd have the kitchen and living all in that front room but I thought it was a little bit too squished and it made more sense for that front room to be the living room and the kitchen to be over here. And I was really happy that I did that. I think it really worked out nicely. And I'm really happy with how this build came out. If you do like it and you'd like to grab it for yourself, I'll have it up on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Griffy and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So right now you can see me grabbing so many items from the Blooming Rooms kit, this little plant stand, all of the plants I end up putting on it, the shelf in the back, the hanging plant, the one in the corner. Those are all from the Blooming Rooms kit and I just love them so much. I overuse a lot of those in my builds because they are just some of my favorites. Uh, so you've probably recognized them if you watch my videos. And then for the furniture in the living room, I'm using a couple of these love seat couches from the Book Nook kit. And I'm trying to remember what coffee table I grabbed. I think I got one from uh, Growing Together. But first I'm figuring out a television. I ended up using this smaller one on an angle to face towards the couches. I just thought it looked too big having a larger TV, but I did scale it up ever so slightly with Tool. And then I'm just figuring out some more plants in this space because I just wanted them to be absolutely everywhere. I really like this cluster of succulents and books that came with Movie Hangout. So I'm placing that over here. And then this is that coffee table I had mentioned. I don't really ever use that coffee table, but I thought it looked nice here. It kind of matched the wood tones almost <laughs> in this apartment. I use a few different wood tones, but they're on the lighter end and some of them are more orangey. And I thought it was just really nice. For some reason, when I came into this build, my first thought was to go for dark wood floors. And I decided not to do that. And I'm really glad that I made that decision. I feel like it feels so much more light and airy and like spring-like, which is definitely what I've been really aiming towards in my builds lately as it is spring now in the Northern Hemisphere. And I'm really feeling the warmer vibes. <laughs> so that's been apparent in the builds. Uh, but here are the plans I ended up choosing for this little like stand. The, all three of those are from Blooming Rooms and I think they're the three that fit the best on that little stand. The smallest one is the one I use the most often. I put that in pretty much every build. It is so, so nice. And then over here by the front door, I'm just getting a place for you to hang up your keys and a bag. I also end up getting a mirror and some shoes by the front door. Pretty simple like entryway stuff. A lot of that is from the Everyday Clutter Kit, another kit I really enjoy. And while I am mentioning kits and what everything is from and that you can get the Blooming Rooms kit for free, if you do decide to pick up another kit or any other pack in the future and you would like to support me as a creator, uh, you can enter the code Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I at checkout and it's not going to give you a discount code or anything like that, but it is going to not charge you anything extra. It's completely free. Uh, and it's going to give me a small percentage of that purchase. So it's a free way to support me as a creator if it's a pack you already were going to buy. Uh, I just wanted to mention that since it's a really cool thing that EA has been doing, uh, giving creators codes. It really adds up and I appreciate it. So thank you to EA for sponsoring this portion of the video. I have to say that because of the creator code. But anyway, back to the kitchen here. I have quite a few plants in this space. I really like the ones that are mounted on the wall here. Those ones are from Dream Home Decorator, I'm pretty sure. 
I also have like a drying rack up above the sink and all of the appliances in here as well as the wallpaper in the kitchen, the tiles. Those are from the Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack, which is such a good stuff pack. They disappeared for years and then came back with Home Chef Hustle and it's so good. I also really enjoy Crystal Creations, the newest two stuff packs that we got. And I really hope we get some more. That would be really nice. Uh, but anyway, the kitchen is pretty much done now. I'm just changing some plants out here in the hall or I, I guess it's not the hall. It's the entryway slash right outside of the living room, right outside the entry to the kitchen. Uh, I added those and then I decided to change the swatch of the archway that went into the kitchen. Uh, but this is going to be the bathroom. I am using the same tiles and countertops in here that I used in the kitchen and uh, just some simple bathroom decor. I love this tile so much. It's so pretty. I don't know if I've ever used this light green swatch of it, but it worked so nice in this space. It feels so happy and I just thought it was really cute. I also just am adding a little bit of clutter on the sink here. So there's this tray of all sorts of different bathroom stuff as well as some soap and some toothbrushes, a lot of stuff from the bathroom clutter kit, and then just grabbing a towel in here and a bath mat. And we should be working on the hallway now, which I just put this shelving unit from the Blooming Rooms kit in here, and I decided to fill it up with plants because plant mom. <laughs> so uh, I am slowly going through and figuring out which items I wanna put on there and moving them around. Some things don't snap to the grid, so I was playing around with how to uh, place everything and then I move the shelf back afterwards using move objects. So just figuring that out now and then we should be going on into the uh, primary bedroom. I did not keep the bed that I have in there now, which is from Seasons. I actually grabbed one from Eco Lifestyle, which I feel like just fits the vibe I went for way better because at first I was like, maybe it'll just be like really bright greens and really lean into plants are green. <laughs> and there's definitely greens going on in here with the tile in the bathroom and in the kitchen but it's not so bright and in your face. So I felt like a more subdued bedroom made more sense. Uh, so that's what I opted for here. I love this bed from Eco Lifestyle. It's definitely a favorite, which is why I haven't been using it as often because I have overused this bed so much because it is so beautiful and I can't help myself. Uh, so I decided it was a good match here. I also really like this bedside table from the Blooming Rooms, not Blooming Rooms kit. I said Blooming Rooms so many times in this build already. Uh, from the book nook kit, it has a lot of books underneath it and I just think it's really cute. And then I'm just getting the dresser also from Eco Lifestyle. It has the same wood swatches. So I thought it was a good match and a little chair over in the corner as well as some more plants in here. I grabbed that same hanging plant from the kitchen and I will be placing it in here as well in a different swatch because I felt like this corner was calling for a hanging plant and I thought that that would be a good match. Uh, so I should be grabbing that here shortly, but first getting some more decor for the dresser. Uh, another little plant that I used, as well as some baskets and a little jewelry box and stuff. That little clutter piece of like the jewelry box and the makeup and all of that, that is from the high school years pack. I thought it worked nicely in there since I have been kind of overusing the Crystal Creations jewelry box lately. I thought it was nice to switch it up. And then this is our last room, which is going to be a sort of office space. I have a desk and a computer in here, but I also have a flower arranging table from Seasons and a couple of flower boxes. So your Sims or flower pots, plant pots. I'm not sure what I want to call them. Um, planters for your Sims to go ahead and work on their gardening skills. So they have like a skill building room essentially, but I think it's so cozy in here. And I used an item from Blooming Rooms that I never use here, which is this shelving unit above the desk. It has some really weird shapes to it and a lot of plants in it. I think it's cute, but it's a very specific style that I have trouble using, so I don't use it too often. And then I go into the kitchen and I decided to add these beautiful leaves over the window instead of the curtains I grabbed before. And then here I am grabbing that flower arranging table so your Sims can arrange some flowers. And here are those planters just some base game ones. And then over in this corner, I wanted to add like another big plant and I ended up getting this base game plant, which I thought looked really cute. I also felt like we needed a hanging plant in here. So I'm pretty sure I should, if I didn't already, I think I'm gonna be adding a hanging plant over in the corner here. Yeah, the one from the paranormal stuff pack or is it paranormal? Yeah, I think it's paranormal, the one I grabbed that I'm gonna be putting over by that lamp, but I also got a little bookcase in here to put a little bit more clutter on and I'm adding some decor to the desk as well. 
And there is that paranormal hanging plant. That one's so nice as well. I am so glad we have a few hanging plants in the game. They are so, so pretty. I wouldn't mind having some more, to be honest. Although I'm not sure what other pack would add them. I guess it could be any pack. Uh, but with that... I am almost done with this build. We're going to be heading on into screenshots here shortly. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Please enjoy those screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.